You've been waiting all day for this, and it's about time. Hi, everybody, along with Craig Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski here for EA Sports. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Puck is dropped to that hockey. Let's it go! Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Saginaw's got the puck against the half wall. Moves with the puck at the corner. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, what a save with the stick by Lennox. Those Bang Bang plays are just that. So quick. Puck on the stick, puck off the stick. The goalie's got to be in the right position or they're not going to make that quick save. Quick pass to Jake. Fires it. Great reflexes as he comes up with the pad save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. The frozen miss gets dropped and we are back underway here. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Shot! Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Spirit have been penalized for slashing. St. John sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. And now it's grabbed by Mancini. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Jake. Slides it across. Oh, and it gets a toe on that one to keep it out. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Puck picked up by Poirier. St. John's got it in their own zone. The Spirit have gained possession. The Sea Dogs have it against the wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Sea Dogs carry it along the wall. The Spirit have it in their own zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Off the left wing and into center. With possession along the wall. The Sea Dogs take possession in the defensive end. for this length can be a real good thing. Look, we used to practice them. The problem is sometimes they're not as intense as the game, and the guys get a little lethargic moving the puck around the outside. And that's another power play marker. A lot of power play coaches going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so, really paying off tonight. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. Saginaw's now up by two. Why are they here now? The way they've played the game is that they've taken all the air out of the opposition. There's no room for them to move the puck. Quick feed to Jake. Chance in front. That's blocked. Driving right to the front. 
Cubs, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Just not many goals that are scored from not in front of the net. I mean, if you want food, you go to the grocery store. You want money, you go to the bank. You want gold, you get to the front of the net. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Saginaw's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. Dumps it into the ozone. The Sea Dogs gain control of the puck against the wall. St. John's gain the line and into the zone. To the low slot. Too many bodies in the way. He looks deep to Jake. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And there's the whistle icing the call. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Lawrence has won the draw, and they're going to dance off here. A good night. That looked like a mismatch at the start, too, James. It certainly played out that way. Well, that'll do it as they ride them off to the penalty box, each to their own bench to sit for five minutes. I hope he can get a drink of water. Last time in there, the bottle was empty, which really must stink. You get your tired and thirsty, and now you get a pull of dust. You don't miss a thing, do you? No. It was in there, and I hated when the bottle was empty. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Ray, you're between the benches. Are you picking up on any of this? Yeah, I, I thought a really good reminder here from the coach to his youngest player is that you're at a point in the game where safety is better than a creative play. Make the right play the smart play. Keep the puck in front of you. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's a 4-1 game. Quick pass to Burns. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Saginaw's blowing their opponent out of this game. They've intercepted so many passes, it's like they've played a perfect game. Tremendous save by Lennox. Lennox's goal tending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Jake's got it along the wing. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Sends a pass over. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Sends one up to Bloom. St. John's got the puck along the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Grabs the puck in the slot. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Jake's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Dogs once again send out their power play unit. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. The Sea Dogs have it from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Here's a short pass to Jake. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Shot denied by the goaltender. Lassard's able to make something out of nothing. Once he trips and falls, this play should be dead. But he finds a way to push the puck to his teammate, and they get a scoring chance. Turns that one away. Oh, and another quick stop. Francis, and it's a quick pass to Ensigns. Takes 
it into the slot. Blocked in traffic. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Sends it across. Takes a shot. Phil that's lugging the puck. The Sea Dogs are on the attack. And now he angles it across to Francis. Saginaw's got the puck along the boards. Feeds it on over to Mancini. Look out, here they come on the attack. Cheeks got it deep in the offensive end. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Moves it to Ensigns. St. John's moving it up the ice. Handles the pass from the right wing. Taken by Ensigns. Made the stop on the fly. And he takes the feed. Takes it at center. Quick shot! And that one's turned away. Pat Note's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. And we've got a third period just around the corner. It's about to go down. Period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Farrell, ready to bring you the action. Saginaw's shorthanded unit has done a solid job to this point. Just a few more seconds to spare as they win the draw. The Sea Dogs scoop it up along the boards. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. Moves it quickly over to Edsons. Saginaw's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Trying to get free! Oh, did he ever come up huge between the pipes? What a save! This is a real strength for the goaltender, the one-on-one -on -one battles. He gets out, focuses in on the shooter, takes all the room away and makes the stop. And he hangs on to the puck. Steps inside. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Moves around along the half wall. And now it's over to Smith. Francis has it in the defensive end. Saginaw's got the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Mangione. The Sea Dogs gain possession along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Quick feed to Lassard. Back at the point, they set it up with the stop. Tries to feed it over to Jake. And a little body contact on that play. Moves it to the middle. It's scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Guys are always working on getting rid of the puck quicker and quicker and quicker. I mean, it can't come off a stick any quicker than this, and the, the goalie just can't keep up from this close range. Slides it diagonally to Bloom. Scoops up the puck here. Takes it to the front, and he makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Jake. Reaches out and uses the stick. Scrum along the boards. Kuznetsov stick handling in his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. With the stop. Saginaw's got a hold of the puck. Hits him right into the boards. Ah, that's still smart. You can know it's coming, but the boards are solid. That always rattles you. Quick pass to Burns. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Saginaw's looking to break out of their own end. Passes it to Jake. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two on one. Lead pass ahead. Oh, what a stop by Lennox. Had to be sharp. That's a great eight man. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. The play continues. He makes the save but keeps it alive as the puck's in the corner. 
Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. The Sea Dogs tried to push for another goal late, but really they put themselves in this position to begin with here. Well, you start chasing the game, James, and you get to the point where you've got to take your goalie out and give it a last ditch attempt. Just didn't work out for him. Gotta love tournament time. It is so much fun, and we will see you at the next gold round. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Tune in next time. You know, I'm not sure what the coach said over his shoulder at one point, that, but boy, oh boy, he was a different player after making a pretty effective play out there. Well, he wasn't asking him what he ate for pregame, I'll tell you that, because while <laughs> no. he tried to look for the coach was into a pregame. He wanted him to get moving, and I think the players took it the right way. Sometimes they don't, but the kid